Okay, I am over the top excited about this because um, when I learned how to teach reading to anyone, I I couldn't believe it. Like it's such a gift. Um, so I've recommended this method to uh, friends, international students, other people. It's really simple, guys. Really, really simple. Number one, um, if you read out loud to someone or with someone to the point where they say, "I," what does this word say? What does it say? That's how you know they're ready to learn to read. So if you're working with children or you're working with somebody else, read out loud to the point where they say, what does this say? What does this do? What is this? What is this? So you always want to wait for that. Um, number two is when you're, if you're working with a child and you're reading to a child, you always want to do pre-reading skills. So you want to hold the book. You want to point directly to the letter. This is a terrible example because it says shine, but you can't even see it. But as you're reading, you always want to move your finger across the page for the words. So that's number two in pre-reading. Wait till they're ready, number one, and you'll know they're ready because they will ask you. What does this say, mommy? What does this say, daddy? Go with that. Um, number two is pre-reading with the finger. Number three is talk about the pictures on the page. And if you do that with the child, you will know when they're ready to start learning to read. So what did I use? Um, I, I had no clue how to teach my children to read. Um, I didn't remember learning to read, and uh, but I knew I was a reader from a very young age. I remember teaching a friend to read when I was like seven. So it's the weirdest thing. So I'm going to tell you about two resources. This is the first one. Where's my book? The thing is back. It's called The Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Reading. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I'm only going to recommend two resources. I don't want you to buy anything else ever. Not ever. Like if I find out that you're one of my friends and you're torturing your children by buying them crazy curriculums, I will cry. I am that passionate about this material. So this is the first one. You can get it on Amazon. It's by Susan Wise Bauer. It's called The Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Reading. I love it because it is broken down into daily lessons. And there's a preface you can read. And it will, I don't know why that line is in there. Um, it, there's a preface. It tells you more about it. And then it tells you about the author's journey, how they came up with this method. And then look how short this is. This is all you're going to do on day one. This is it right here. That's it. So you're not going to torture your child with 30 minutes of sitting on the couch reading a book that, that is no pictures and only symbols that they don't know what they mean. So um, I want to let you know about this. This is my short, this is the short video. Okay. So real fast, get your ordinary parents guide to teaching reading. You will not have to torture your child and it will tell you in the beginning of the book how to do that. And maybe I'll make a video out of that later. And then the second thing that you cannot live without is called uh, phonograms by Wanda Sanseri. S-A-N-S-E-R-I. She will send you a packet and you can get these a number of different places. So I'll let you figure it out. But um, this says spelling rule cards on it, so hold on. You'll get this little packet and you'll get a bunch of little cards. They will come in a sheet, but you'll want to get you a fun little laminator. And there are, maybe you don't even know what a phonogram is. I didn't. It's so funny to talk to people who don't know what phonograms are now because I get to feel very smart. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Anyway, so a phonogram is just... The simplest way to explain it is that when you see the letter A, letter A doesn't only say A. It says three different sounds. And knowing what each of those sounds are, that's those are phonograms. So that's what a phonogram is. This is what you're going to want to use. Um, Wanda Sansiri, you can see her name on here. This sheet says spelling rule cards. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I call these phonogram cards. So two things that you're going to want to get. The Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Reading. And you're going to want to get these phonogram cards from Wanda Sansiri. They're small. You're going to want to laminate them. And there's so much more I could tell you. But those two tools alone will enable you to teach anyone to read. I promise. Try me on this. <laughs> Test me. Okay, more on that later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.